because these dating apps are working, but they're working for the top 10%. So what can you do to get in that top 10%? Because if you think you can't be in that top 10%, you're not going to be in that top 10%. You done tried downloading Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, Facebook dating, Black. You done tried all these different dating apps and none of them are working. I've told y'all in the past, dating apps have been working for me pretty good. We're going to break it down today, man. I'm going to hit y'all from three different angles. First, we're going to talk about why are dating apps so difficult? Then we're going to be talking about is the subscriptions even worth it, right? No point in spending your money if you don't need to. And then last, I will be helping y'all understand what you need to do to get successful on dating apps. So let's get into it. So number one, why is dating apps so hard? It really comes down to the ratio. On the better end, you have three men for one girl. So it's a three to one ratio. And then studies have shown that about half of the women on dating apps, they aren't, they aren't even on there for dating. Yeah, mind blowing. They on dating apps for attention. So you got to cut that in half. So let's say you live in a city with 12,000 people. You got 9,000 men, you got 3,000 women on the dating app. So take that 3,000 and half of them, half of that 3,000, they're only on there for attention. They got something wrong with them. They got their ego, they need a stroke. They don't want to meet up anybody. They're just on there for attention. So cut that 3,000 in half. So we have 1,500 now. I think it's fair to say about one third of those women you see on there, you ain't going to be attracted to. You don't even want to sleep with them. A lot of them women, they might actually be men too, right? So take one third of that out. Or they might be one of them big back beluga whales, one of them Hey, she need, to, she, she need to put on the O-line. She don't need to be on tennis. She need to be on TLC, one of them big back beluga whales. Look, if you love fat girls, that's on you. But hey, someone got to love them. It ain't, ain't going to be me. But anyway, so you can take probably one third of those women. You're not going to be attracted to. Maybe they're ugly. Maybe they're too big for you. Maybe they're not even an actual woman. So now we down to 1,000 women. So you got 9,000 men for 1,000 women. So that just shows you, you really have to be that top tier. You have to be that top 10. Depending on your area, you might get away with top 20%. Like I said, in the end, I'm going to break it down and explain to y'all how you can get to that top 10, 20%. Next, is the subscriptions worth it? I'm going to be real with y'all. Tinder, a lot of these dating apps, they have bumped up their price like crazy. And I remember probably like two, three years ago, I used to have the subscription and they would charge us different prices. <laughs> I remember me and both of my roommates, we all had a uh, tender. We all had three different prices, right? My, my price was the cheapest. One roommate, his price was like $10 higher. And then the other roommate was like $20 higher. So man, it's a business at the end of the day. They really trying to manipulate y'all to have you spend money, right? They were charging me less because I was getting more likes, because I was getting more matches. I don't know if they still do this or not, but two years ago, they were still doing this. They were charging people different prices, right? So that dude that's not getting any matches, they gonna charge him like 50 bucks while they were charging me like 15, right? So be very aware because honestly, bro, if you're not getting any matches to begin with, paying for a boost, paying for a subscription, the premium account, that's not gonna do anything. Because women have already showed you they don't like your account, right? So paying for it for them to push you more, just because you're getting pushed in front of more people, that's not going to help you because girls have shown that they don't like you. If you get some success, if you get a lot of matches already, yes, buying that boost, buying that premium account is going to help even more. Or location plays a huge role. Sometimes you just don't have girls in your area on these dating apps. Like for me, it wouldn't make sense for me to buy a boost because I already done... I already done swiped on all the women. They all probably didn't see me by now because they're not uh, large amounts of women in my area on these dating apps, right? So keep that in mind, man. Don't be too quick to pay for these subscriptions and stuff. If you're not getting matches, this is what you need to do. You need to start taking your photos a lot more serious. And I know dudes are like, I'm not doing a whole photo shooting. Okay, that's fine. But realize, like the example, you got 9,000 guys for 1,000 women. So what is going to put you at that top tier? If some dudes are doing photo shoots, they are going to be the ones that win. If some guys are in shape, those are going to be the ones that win. And I know a lot of y'all think, 
that black pill mindset like, oh, you just lucky you were born attractive, you were born tall. Look, if you looked at me from 10 years ago, and I know dudes that are 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 and they're terrible with women. They, they got no success on dating apps because they didn't know how to present themselves because they weren't in shape, right? Realize you want to get what you're looking for. If you wanted these black pill guys that think, oh, I'm screwed, I'm five foot seven, I will never find a girlfriend, that's going to be your reality. You will find what you're looking for. So if you think you're not going to get success, you're not going to get success. If you think, okay, I'm on the shorter end, I'm definitely at a disadvantage, I might be five, six. Let me get my body together so I can look like I can protect a woman. Let me get my personality more engaging, right? You can change your personality. You can become a better version of yourself. And that's how you get more matches. You live a life. You get out the house. I remember I went out to eat. One of my friends was going to the Navy. We all saying our greatest memories. And then it came to me and we didn't have any memories. I was like, the best memories we have is on a video game. And that's how it was with the majority of my friends. A couple weeks later, I sold my game system. Because I said, I don't want my best memories to be on a video game. Try new things, have stuff to talk about. You can't lead a woman when the woman has more experience in the, than you in every single aspect. That's, that's what it's really coming down to. These women are traveling. These women are going to school. These women are getting out the house way more than the majority of the men. And then you can't lead her to nothing. You can't teach her anything. Because she had lived more life than you. So you got to present yourself the best way. And I know guys are like, oh, Cole, you're tall, you're light-skinned, you're this, you're that. Dude, if you look at pictures from me 10 years ago, I was built like a scrawny nerd. My teeth were jacked up. I had to get braces. I had a real bad speech impediment. I made drastic changes. I used to struggle to talk to people. So that's why I come on here and tell y'all there is hope. Because if you think you're screwed, you're screwed. If you think you can overcome your shortness, your over being overweight, if you think you can overcome your situation, you will overcome it. If you think you can't, you won't. Like I tell you all the time, it's about the small habits every single day. It's easy to get matches online when you're taking quality photos, when you're in the gym every single day, when you're living a productive life, when you live a life that you're proud of. It's easy to co go conversate with people. But when, you, when you're not living a life you're proud of, then it's hard to talk to people. Then it's hard to present yourself in the best light because you're not doing anything. She said, what are your hobbies? All you do is play the game all day. What is you, what can you talk about? What have, what have you learned in the past year? Because a lot of y'all don't learn shit. A lot of y'all ain't doing shit. And then when you go out with a date, you wonder why she don't mess with you like that. You haven't done shit. You can't be a leader to her. You can't even lead yourself. So when dudes come out here and say, oh, it's because you're tall, it's because you're light-skinned, it's because you're this, that, that, that. There's a lot of stuff you can do. If I don't shave between my eyebrows, I have a unibrow. If I never got braces, my teeth would be jacked up. If y'all did as many reps and sets as me in the gym, y'all would be just that jacked. Or y'all, you would be close to it, or you might even look better than me. Dudes be like, Cole, I'm trying to get like you, I'm trying. Dude, I've been at it for eight years. The amount of reps and sets, the amount of miles I ran, the amount of dips, the amount of pull-ups, the amount of squats. Y'all don't know how much work I done put in. It's product and they like, man, he's lucky. Nah, nah, I've been at it since I was 13, 14. Yeah, I've been grinding. Everybody know me, I've been grinding. I to get after it, man. But a lot of y'all are working towards something that's not gonna bring you a return. You working towards the video game. You're distracting yourself. You letting these social media apps take all your time. And I know some dudes are like, man, Cole, I don't feel like taking no photo shoot. That ain't really me. Okay, that's cool. But realize it's 9,000 for 1,000. Realize you got nine guys for one woman. What's going to make you win in that? What's going to make you win out that nine guys? You got to do what you got to do. And 
that's the issue, man. That's the issue. Y'all don't want to do what it takes, but you want to complain. You don't want to do what it takes, but you want to complain. My brother takes my photos. He does, he does a great job. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have to go pay for a photographer every time. Maybe you have a friend. Make sure if you got a new, maybe you got the new iPhone, the new iPhone, go to different areas, get some good lighting, take some good photos and present yourself in the right light. And the more you do that, the more you'll know your angles. The more you do that, the more comfortable you will be in front of a camera. But I'm, I'm tired of these guys. Every single video I have these dudes in the black people, how tall are you, how this, what, what are you doing? Forget how tall I am, forget what I look like. We need to focus on you. We need to get you together. Because these dating apps are working, but they're working for the top 10%. So what can you do to get in that top 10%? Because if you think you can't be in that top 10%, you're not going to be in that top 10%. I think vast majority of guys can be at least a seven. If you take care of your looks, if you're hitting the gym, you know, I'm going to be real. Some dudes are screwed. Maybe you five, maybe you five, three, five, four with the lazy eye and you got a receding hairline. Maybe you screwed. But even in that case, okay, go cold approach more. Go cold approach. Be on every single dating app there is. You just gotta shoot your shot more. You just gotta shoot your shot more. And this is what this is how I look at it, man. We all shooting our shots. The more you work on yourself, the closer you get to the goal. So some of y'all, y'all throwing them full court shots. Some of y'all shooting half court shots. Well, if you worked on yourself, if you presented yourself better, Okay, now you're at the three-point line. Now you're at the free throw. You keep working on yourself. You stay in that gym. You learning something new. You making more money. Okay, now we hitting layups. This is easy. This is easy. We, hit, we hitting layups all day. So put the work in, man, and that's going to show. If you have a life you're proud of, you can show that online. And then everything else is going to come together. Like I tell you all the time, don't be an average man. The average man is screwed. That's all I got for y'all today. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch y'all boys in the next one.